What is up guys, it's Mike here and today we are going to be looking at the 2021 Spin Master Monster Jam Halloween Superstore exclusive truck which is none other than Son of a Digger. Alright, here it is, the third time so far that Spin Master has had a Halloween exclusive truck, and this time it's none other than Son of a Digger. So, I'm going to come out and say I was not expecting a Son of a Digger Halloween truck, but this thing looks pretty neat. So, the first year we had the Glow in the Dark Pirate's Curse, that truck was pretty cool, I like the whole Glow in the Dark feature with that one. And then last year... We had one that was pretty much, I guess, I would say kind of random, but kind of cool too. We had the Vampire Mohawk Warrior, which that truck, in its own unique way, was pretty unique and cool looking as well. And this year, we have Son of a Digger. So, I honestly didn't think Son of a Digger could be a Halloween truck. Um, when some shots were kind of hinted towards it, I, I was kind of curious on how they were going to kind of intertwine Halloween with this truck. But it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty neat. So, obviously, first looking at the truck, you can see there's a lot of purple on it. I love the purple and flame texture we got going on here. And the one thing I really love what they did with this thing is they basically made pumpkins on the side. And it is so cool. I cannot wait to open this thing and see what it looks at or how it looks. But one thing I always like doing with these Superstore Super Trucks is just looking at the card art. This card art is amazing. It looks awesome. So I really love how they did on the top of the card art. They have the purple flames up there with the orange. Like that is just pretty cool how they did that. It's kind of like the hood kind of on Son of a Digger. But I really like what they did here. So obviously on the left side you got the limited edition 1 of 1000. Of course you got the Monster Jam logo here. And I really love what they did with the Son of a Digger logo. How they made it into a pumpkin. I think that is so cool. And they even had the little grim guy here with the pumpkin. Oh, my thumb's in the way. But right here. On the bottom right, that's pretty unique and cool as well. And of course, you got a tree and some bats on the left side. Pretty, uh, pretty nice. And I love the back. So usually, the back of these trucks have like the 3D rendering of the truck. This one doesn't, and I kind of like that. Mon or where it says "Son of a Dicker" right here. This is actually like holographic, and it changes colors. So that's pretty cool. I like the limited edition, the Halloween logo. I mean, it's pretty unique. It's pretty cool. It's a little different from the previous trucks that were released, but nonetheless, I like how Spin Master is changing it up. They always change it up in cool ways, and you know what? It works. It honestly works. So. Typically on the Superstore exclusive trucks, you have a paragraph here, basically just saying, you know, a little here or there about the truck, and then basically just saying it's limited to 5,000 pieces, and I like this. Obviously, as you guys do know, Halloween is my favorite time of the year. This, honestly, I, I honestly, I don't know who else, but I look more forward for the Halloween exclusive trucks than the Christmas. Um... Yeah, you could say I'm a little biased because I like Halloween more, but I think Halloween just, it's, it's awesome. It's just a cooler time, I guess. And one cool thing I want to point out, too, is Spin Master's getting really high recognition for their detailing on the trucks, but their detailing on the limited edition packages, it's just top-notch. I mean, I love it. And I also love how they always add on these, how the last sentence in this paragraph is always, like, it's an essential piece to any serious collector. <laughs> like, I love that. But nonetheless, it's pretty cool. So when this got kind of hinted at, I honestly did not think it, like, I, I kind of second guessed it because I didn't know how they were going to basically put Son of a Digger with Halloween. And for this Halloween truck this year, I was kind of leaning towards, like, maybe a Megalodon or, like, maybe that Halloween Grave Digger or something like that. But it's kind of cool that they kind of came out of left field with Son of a Digger. And they actually did a look and it looks like this truck actually really pulled it off. But now enough talking. Let's crack this thing open and really take a good look at this awesome Halloween truck. So one thing I hate about opening these trucks is destroying the packaging. <laughs> um, that's one thing I always try to avoid. But as now the truck is out, you can really see the trucks on the side here. And that's pretty cool because we got 
It looks like a Gravedigger truck, Max D, and they got pumpkins. There's a pumpkin Max D, a pumpkin Gravedigger, and of course the crossbones for Son of Digger at the top. So really cool packaging on this. I really like this packaging. I ain't really. I tried not to destroy it, but I guess you can only get so far. But then again, here is the little ramp thing. Now these trucks do come with this kind of see-through ramp, which I guess that's cool. Don't care much about that. And of course the limited edition sign here. Now I kind of wish this was like the holographic, like on the back of the card, but we'll take it. But now let's move on to the truck. This thing just looks absolute. All right. So this truck does have a black chassis, an orange roll cage with black rims, orange BKT lettering, and an orange beadlock. So I like the whole Halloween theme here with the colors on the basically on the BKT, on the rims, the beadlock. I mean, I like that. This roll cage, now I don't know if we saw an orange roll cage like this before. It may have been on the World Finals, I call it the Halloween version Gravedigger, but the World Finals, I think 17 Gravedigger. And one cool thing I like is the headlights are orange. When I first just turned this around, my thought that went in my head was the headlights are a pumpkin, but they're not pumpkins. <laughs> I do like the orange, that's pretty cool. And I do believe this truck does have the updated grill. Now, I could be wrong, it, it might not. I totally, I haven't looked at the front end of any Son of a Digger trucks in a while, because I've been so kind of busy with work. But let me know in the comments if that's updated, I totally don't know. And then just looking at the truck overall, honestly, it's a nice looking truck. It's very well put together i like the color palette on it and i like how it keeps those halloween themed colors with the orange and the black now where the truck really gets some detailing work is definitely on the side here so you got a pumpkin over here that's zombie which is pretty cool you got the son of a digger logo right here with a pumpkin i can't really tell what one this is right here but I like it. You got Max D right here. And I like how they added these pumpkins into the paint job. It is an absolute cool thing. I mean, that is so cool. I really can't tell. Maybe Dalmatian. One of the dog trucks right here. I can't really see. My eyes are horrible. But I like it. I love that Halloween theme. It looks really cool. Then looking on the top here. And I really, really like this. So you got MonsterJam.com and basically Halloween font. You got the Monster Jam logo. And then you have the Son of a Digger logo, which is usually a skull and crossbones. And this is basically a pumpkin. That is so cool. I think that is the whole selling point on this for me. I think that really makes it. I love how they did that. They could have just left the logo alone. And it could have been like, yeah, you know, okay. But I really like the fact that they did that. They made that pumpkin. And you know what? It works with the whole theme. Now, I don't know if I can see it, but it does say something on that flag. Actually, no, the flag right there, if you guys can see it, the flag actually has the original Son of a Digger logo on it. So that's pretty cool how they did that. I like that. You got the original logo on the flag, and you have the Halloween logo, basically where the normal logo would be. That's pretty, pretty unique. Now, looking at this side of the truck, now, I don't know if it's the same. Let's just see here. Uh, pretty much, but I don't know. This side looks a little better for me. I don't know why. Let's see. So we got the Gravedigger pumpkin right here. You got the Max D pumpkin right here. You got, I'm going to guess one of the Dalmatians next to the Monster Jam logo. Then you have the zombie on the back left. I mean, it's just, it's pretty cool. It's something really simple, but it's something really that just works. And I really love the purple flames, how it goes into that orange and then the black. I mean... Overall, black, orange, and purple. <laughs> I mean, I don't really think that color palette would ever work, but it works very nicely with this truck. And the truck looks really mean, and it looks Halloweenish. I mean, <laughs> it looks really, really cool. This one, I would say, is more... I would say not the most gimmicky Halloween truck we got so far. I would say the most is probably the first one with Pirate's Curse, how that was a glow in the dark. And then last year with Mohawk Warrior, that truck was really cool and really unique in its own way. But that did have that Mohawk that they turned into a Batwing or... Yeah, right? Am I right? A Batwing on the Mohawk? Maybe? But, um, yeah, this is the first truck I think we got in Halloween where it's something that's just basically just a paint job you know there's no like gimmick 
part on this truck whatsoever. And it works. It works. It really does work. I like how they put the BKT lettering. I like the black and the orange. And I think this truck, this might be one of the best looking Son of a Digger trucks. Maybe, so far. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that grill is updated. I really don't know. I gotta look. But... I hope it is. I mean, I would think it is, right? By now, maybe? If not, oh well. But, even if the grill wasn't updated, I think the truck does look very neat. It does look very Halloweenish. And, I would, even if I wasn't collecting, you know, every single truck, I would still get this, because I like Halloween. If you're just a fan of Halloween, or a fan of Son of a Digger, I would say, get this truck 1, 2, 3, before they're all gone. Because this one... I honestly feel like this one will probably sell out just because of Son of a Digger's popularity and just the way the truck looks. I mean, it's really an amazing piece and I love the artwork on it and I love the pumpkins. I, I really, really love the pumpkins. I love how they added that in and, you know, for a truck, when you look at the normal Son of a Digger and you think, oh, this is going to be the Halloween exclusive, you kind of sit there and you wonder. You wonder how they're going to do it. They, you know, what what can they really do to make the truck look, you know? But I think Spin Master did a good job on this. It's a good looking truck. I'm going to have to look at all the Superstore exclusive trucks throughout this year and see what one is the best. And I don't know. I mean, right now, looking at them all, and this is definitely in the top two. I think maybe top three, but I will make a video on all the Superstore exclusive trucks later on in this year. But with that being said, guys, let me know if you guys got this truck. I know it went on sale kind of weird at like a weird time. You know, the 4th of July truck was a little delayed. This was on sale, I think, October 28th or 29th, and I actually did not get my box until November 13th. So it came a little late. I know the the Christmas truck is going to be a little late as well. I think it's going to get released November 26th, I believe, next Friday. Well, today's the 19th as I'm recording this. But I think that truck's going to look pretty cool. But, yeah, with that being said, don't forget to drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And this truck, this truck maybe. You know what? We're going to have a nice good racing season for Season 3. I know Season 2 kind of ended under some mysterious circumstances. But, um, we're, we're going to hit it strong in the winter here. And... You know, let me know if you guys got this truck, if you want to buy it. Now, if you saw my unboxing video, I have four more of these trucks. So if you guys are willing to trade or you guys need one, just let me know in the comments below. I'm always willing to help out fellow collectors and people that are less fortunate enough to get this truck. So don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I shall see you guys in another video very shortly.